And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. Round two is ready to go for our seasonal tournament. Let's go ahead and accept our uh, matchup. Okay, so we have some pretty rough matchups. These are not what I want to see at all. <laughs> I want to see aggro, Thresh, Nasus, Draven, Ezreal. These are not that at all. Okay, so as far as this one goes, looks like just Trifarian Assessor for the card advantage. And we have two Riven, three Ash, one Sejuani. I think we're going to have to try to fight through this one. I don't like that matchup at all. Um, I don't love facing other Targon decks, but I think we're going to have to fight through it again. So Zoe Vi, because I really don't want to face the Watcher. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to face this deck. <laughs> this deck looks pretty brutal. So, okay, so this is not, not really what my decks are built to, to beat, but let's give it a try. So let's write these down. So we got two Sentry. All right. Um, and again, if y'all have ever watched me play, you know that I like to write them down myself. Um, more than um, I just feel like I get a better better understanding of the, the deck instead of just like take a picture and then try to look at it later kind of understand their decks a little more and I put it in the two columns units on one side um, spells on the other so I have them nice and organized Three Babbling Bjerg also to go along with three Assessor. I don't like this deck. I This is going to be a tough one to beat. But I think I'll take my chances with this over my, my chances with Watcher. Oh, two Harsh Winds. I missed Harsh Winds. Lots of threes in this list. Yeah, three Pell Cascade and three Get Excited. Two Solari, three Fangs. All right, scroll down to the bottom. Very similar to what I'm doing. Okay, I don't don't love these matchups. Not an aggro deck in sight. Like a smaller unit aggro deck. Yeah, I'm, this is yuck. Yuck. Because you, you kind of hope that you have, like, you know, like, with this kind of, like, you know, you'd have, like, one of these you ban, they have, like, one matchup that you like, and then, you know, maybe you have to play against one of these style decks. So, like, having to face against two 
you know, having three decks that I don't like all together. No. That was the best card. That was the best deck to ban also. That was that was my best deck in, in both of these matchups. That was my best deck in both these matchups. Well. I'm gonna lead with Zillion Nasus. Barom does not match up against Culling Strike. Oh, I was thinking. It's... Don't like the you know the Brom versus the Culling Strikes. Okay. Um, do I, am I keeping Glimpse Beyond? Being Mystic Pale, get excited. Yeah. Okay. Lucky number two. Not off to a good start. the triple pale cascade that's such a good card for them because that allows them to keep pale cascade available I was hoping that they would play the super cool star charts. That's pretty unfortunate. Could just have another Zoe also. Man, yeah, what a hand. What a hand. I wish I didn't play that Preservarium right now. I'm sorry to say time at once. Alright, we got our second time bomb. That's pretty nice. That's a good card to have. Alright, so things at 4 out of 10 right now. Observe the price. 
price of ambition. Alright, so we'll make it so the Zoe doesn't get to just hit us super easily. I guess they just get to do that. They have to use a gem at least. So this thing's at six. We have three. Get excited. Get excited, they're only out. Things at eight. They're not acting like they have get excited. Still at eight. Come on. That work. Okay, good. Very good. I know I can play another time bomb right now, but this already levels up. Actually, no, yeah, it's worth it. Is it worth it? Because the problem, okay, so this is gonna level up Zillion. So if I wait, I can get this time bomb after we level up Zillion, so then I can keep making more time bombs. You know, like I, so I, so I want to wait, I'm incentivized to wait. Obviously, I was hoping for another uh, time bomb. So they've already had two pale cascades so far. Here comes the punchline. Looks like I'm getting hit by another Zoe. That'd be my guess. First of all. Keep your distance. Man, 
puts me down to eight. I don't think I want to go down to eight. Not with a deck with three get excited, three mystic shot. I know I have ways to heal my Nexus, but still. Just need to play it safe. So just four cards over there. Alright, their first Solari Priestess. They are a three hush deck, so I'm not as um, confident in Nasus as I would normally be. But I think it's still my best play right now. We enter in So I know that this card right here is the Solari Priestess card. What once was two, now is one. So that's the Solari Priestess card. So leave me with four mana. So the reason why I'm not gonna I wouldn't siphoning strike the elusive because of hush. So I'm doing the thing with not as much health because of hush. Probably gonna have to start casting these withering whales simply to heal my nexus. Mervin, thank you so much for gifting a sub out. I really appreciate that. To Disgruntled Gruntle. Very kind. Thank you. Thank you, Mervin. Bask in her radiant blessing. Wrap him up tight. Back heretic. All right, there's the first push. First of three. To leave or burn. So I still have the Solari Priestess card. Two others. Kind of just 
heal my Nexus. So my top card's gonna get burned. We got eight cards in hand. We're making a time bomb and a withering whale. That should be ten. Great. Worst possible card to burn. It's the worst possible card. Played around that better, I guess. Consider the consequences of your actions. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look too good at all. That's so why Targon's rough. I, I'm just really worried about Mystic Shots and Get Excited. There's, my opponent still has three Mystic Shots and three Get Excited. That's what I'm really, really worried about right now. And so trying to deal with this while Sorry keeping Withering Whale, Whale Vile Feast mana available. It's problematic to say the least. Okay, so they are tapped out. Um. I 
just want to get that. I want to get that extra point of life right here. That card's good. So that was the Solar Priestess card. So we have two completely unknown cards. All right, so they're they're out of goats. That's the second bot. Okay, I'm out of Mystic Shot range. All right, good. No burn spell. That is good. Um. There was not so mercy. I will not grant it. Hit him where it hurts. Please. That's just not a good play. <laughs> I was gonna say, they should not do that with a fleeting black spear. Oh, they need another card for Get Excited anyway, so I, sh I should just cast the Withering Well right now. They can't just get excited with, that, with just one card in hand. There we go. All right, got the first one. So now can the Howling Abyss deck defeat either of these other two? All right, so we're gonna have to have. I don't think I don't think I'm favored in either one, but I just gotta win one out of two. But I don't I don't like my matchup with either one with Brom Trundle. <clears throat> I don't like it against yeah against either one really. We just gotta win one. I have no idea how this timer thing works. I, I don't know what, how it works. I'm not trying to use it to any kind of advantage because I have no idea how it works. Um, I don't know, maybe I keep Troll Chant. No, I need to find some way to take out round one Zoe. Hopefully, hopefully not round one Zoe again. So my best hope is not round one Zoe. Round one Zoe is going to be a big problem if they have that. Pass. 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 What a sweet life. Everything's so much easier if they just don't have that card. So playing the goat, want to be able to hit him with the goat and get a gem for the Braum. So glad not seeing a Mystic Shot or a, or a Thermo Beam. Saving mana to go along with Braum. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. That's good. Let us get going. That's a good card. That can slow down a Zoe.
So Troll Gifts protects against Pale Cascade. They got the three Pale Cascades. Um, the... I wish I had three mana. I wish I could do Get Excited and Troll Gifts. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Hush. Let's say Hush is the other thing to worry about. So now it's basically... I think they're holding up Pale Cascade. I think that's what they're holding up. Okay, or that. That is annoying. That is quite annoying. I just don't, I don't have three mana. And then obviously that protects against my hush. That's just the, the this is just the worst possible outcome. So everything in this game, the round one Zoe and then them hitting that spell shield. It's the worst possible outcome. Thanks for the resubs, y'all. Camby and Luck with the resubs. Thank you. You guys, I appreciate it. gone very bad for us. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of things they could have used to save that. You know, like they could have like a star shaping. It's kind of taking this to think like you know, may need this to help bust up the spell shield and things like that. I've only played four cards so far. Is that right? Like, all the rest have been just created cards? Just one Zoe, one bot, one Solari Priestess? I just have a million cards. You can fairly easily pass them because they got way too many cards in hand. Okay, so yeah, so, so this doesn't cover up the timer anymore, like we talked about after the first round. Okay, you're just burning cards? Yeah, thanks for burning a sunburst. Appreciate ya. They don't have any answers in their deck to a Howling Abyss, but they do have a lot of um, a lot of ways to invoke and find things that obliterate.
Um, I guess I've been paying attention to this other stuff, and I thought I had... I thought it was round seven. I thought I had seven mana. Like, I'd, yeah, I guess I could have just Ice Pillared. Ice Pillar would have made a lot more sense. Yeah, this would have been a lot better Ice Pillar turn. But, oh. All good. I was thinking it was round seven. I kind of forgot about that. how we skipped that last turn. Eight cards over there. No, no, no! It is easy, see? I think they've only played six cards. Crystal's gone. I had to play that to be able to get Trundle to be 5 power, so Trundle can uh, kill one of these things. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Second Zoe, first Mystic Shot. yet, so they could use Hush Hush to kill that. Get ready for a beat down. Plan on using Get Excited, it looks like. had that. Great. Obviously, I want like the double obliterate, but I don't have any other invoke cards anyway. I guess I'm into living legends. Yeah, so it, it made it made a Vlad and took up a, an obliterate, so not too bad. Too mad. If 
That would have been a reason to take that card. I guess I guess I should have taken the nine mana card because then I would have had a blocker. But I guess you know they would buy it. So actually, that wouldn't work. So the other deck won't be Targon, so that's good. Yep. Look how we have grown. That made me want to use the Ice Quake. One, two, punch. They had a really good hand, especially like that, just starting off with the Zoe round one and then having that protection for Zoe just was all very good. And then they had that obl the obliterate for my landmark and obviously the double subversible. That's really hurt. Quick here. So they, obviously they still have a million cards. We're in r real rough shape. I have nine cards in my four. So the battlefield's not... It's kind of even. Oh, I don't have the mana for... I don't have the mana for flash trees also. Alright, well... I was saying kill that, you know, because I was thinking to like take out the spell shield with this. With... 
Yeah, I mean, that also does it too. GG's. Yeah, great. Just great hand. Like, basically every single round they played, like, about as good as you could have <laughs> every single round, so... That was rough. Like, Yo, know, ever since round one, like, every round was amazing. Alright, don't love this matchup at all, but we'll see how we do. So I didn't like either matchup, we just gotta get lucky on one of them. Definitely did not get lucky on that one. And all they did. Yeah, just a wonderful first 12 turns. <laughs> okay. Uh, send it all back or keep Trundle. Man, this is gonna be rough. Especially them being Culling Strike deck, right? Like, three Culling Strike. That card is brutal. Maybe they won't have Culling Strike. Break the ties that bind. Maybe they won't have it. So far, their hand's been perfect for what they can do. Sentry's the perfect card to have on round two. Gotcha. Is it the boosters? Who knows? I'll be pretty surprised if we win this. And then Babbling Beer getting the card advantage also. Oh man. About to have one man on Rage Yeti. I'll be pretty surprised if we win this.
tribes under one Stop. banner. Just. Great. I, I don't think we're. I, I don't think we're really in this game at all. A true Falyorian will. Good, not a troll chant. Victory requires a sharp blade. Not good. Alright, so we're one and one, unfortunately. Face me. Than a troll. Man, awesome hands these last two games for our opponent. Just from the very beginning of the game, it's just every single round, it's like what's what's like the best we can have? Alright, well, because I didn't like any of those three matchups. I didn't like them, and not whenever my opponent was drawing like that. Dang. Alright, so we are currently one and one. That's too bad. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments about the match, um, you know, about the games, anything like that. Always love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching round two of the seasonal tournament, and I'll see you for the next video.